Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 14, Week 1, Round 1. My name is Boma Fett. You'll notice I have moved up into Division 1. So, going to be facing the big boys now. That's not actually true. I'll be facing the same kinds of people I was facing in Division 2. We're all gaining galactic power as we go. And so I'll be facing people with similar galactic power to my own. All right, let's see who I'm matched up against this round. Zep33. Now, normally at this point in the video, we'll look at the hotbot and I'll show you the opponent's roster, but I've looked at Zep's GAC history and Zep almost always auto sets defense. So I guess we can still look at the roster just to see what to expect. Um, you can see that there is a Malevolence Fleet. And here in the character inventory, these are the Relict characters. You can see we've got a Rose Tico and a Resistance Trooper and a Resistance Pilot. So Zep is on the verge of going for uh, Galactic Legend Ray, but does not have Ray yet. In fact, Zep does not have General Skywalker. Let me go back to this setting. And so we can expect my first squad I should be facing if the defense is auto set will be Jedi Training Ray, Grievous, Padme, BB-8, and Scav Ray. The next will be Jedi Knight Anakin, Darth Malak, Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, and GBA. The next will be Darth Vader, CLS, Resistance Hero Finn, Finn, and Holdo. So these are not going to be easy squads, but there's not going to be a ton of synergy on a lot of these squads. Let's take a look at the defense that I set. I was actually starting to set my defense before looking at the GAC history. Uh, and so I probably set a more difficult defense than I needed to. I don't expect Zep to actually attack. So in the top zone, I've got a Newt squad. I've got a Bounty Hunter squad. And I put my Ewoks on defense. I never put my Ewoks on defense, but I did this time. So in the middle of setting defenses, I did check the GAC history. And when I saw that Zep almost always auto sets, I went ahead and I threw my Ewoks there. Here in the bottom, I've got Grievous and Darth Revan. In the back, I've got leftover bounty hunters with Wampa and Phoenix. And in my ships, I've got Malevolence and Thrawn. Now again, had I checked the GAC history earlier, I would have probably put more garbage on defense and saved more for offense so that I can get the full clear. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to full clear an auto set defense or not. We'll come back later this afternoon and see if Zep does auto set or if he actually sets a real defense. So I will see you in a few. All right, let's take a look at the defense that Zep set or didn't set. Look at that. It's an auto set defense, just like I thought. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out what to use where. All right, I'm going to make a plan and I will come back. Okay, so I really have no idea how much of this defense I'm going to be able to clear. Uh, I really wish I had checked the GAC history before setting defense so that I could have saved more for offense. I am going to try and go through the top and see if I can get to the ship zone. With that in mind, I think the most difficult group here is actually the middle one that has Malik and both Revens. And so I'm going to go there first. And I'm going to take my Jedi Revan squad with General Skywalker. We are going to start off by marking Anakin. Because Revan's over there, there is the Savior, but that just got triggered. We'll give the 
this to Grandmaster Yoda. Um, I guess I have to go after the Brute. We'll spread the buffs. They did not spread to Revan because he has buff immunity. Get rid of Darth Revan. And maybe this battle wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Um, maybe I didn't need General Skywalker after all. All right, 59 banners there. I'm going to go after this Jedi Training Ray squad with my Padme squad. All right, we'll give this a try. some protection up really want to get rid of scav she's the really big hitter there we go um, there were three opponents on the other side from Ray's squad. We have Ray, BB-8, and Scav Ray. Get rid of Padme. See if we can take out Ray. 18 stacks should do good damage against him. And 58 banners. Against this Vader squad, I'm going to go with my Emperor Palpatine squad. And my Vader gets to go first. So we'll Force Crush. We'll go Merciless. Ability Block. Nope. Ability block. Ability block. Force crush. And see if we can get rid of Vader. Yep. Okay, who didn't get an ability block? Let's see if we can ability block him. Go ahead and fracture Holdo to keep her from taunting. Although Finn can also taunt. Let's put fear here on CLS. Um, let's see if we can get some stuns. Everybody. Okay, we'll put some more debuffs out there. See if we can get rid of resistance hero Finn. Uh, the shock is over here, so let's do this. back to Vader so that he can go merciless again. Fracture Holdo. More debuffs. And let's get rid of her. There we go, 60 banners. Take 
take a look at his fleets. So we've got Malevolence, but it doesn't have the correct fleet with it. And then we've got, huh, we've got the Rattus. That's interesting. Okay, we are going to come back to this. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go against this top squad with my CLS squad. And we'll stun Bosk. And I really want to get rid of Nihilus. An ability block. I'm going to save my stun for Bosk. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put Blindness out there. Go after Ventress now. Let's see if we can stun Bosk. There we go. Get rid of Ventress. All right, R2, you want to take the punch? Go after HK here. And let's see if we can stun Bosk again. No, nope. see if we can stun him now. There we go. Now we'll go after HK. All right, 59 banners there. Against this Poe Squad. We do have Daka who can do some reviving. So I wonder if I should take my first order here with Watt Tambor. I'm not sure if this will work or not. And I know Daka's revive is not as reliable with non Night Sister characters, but she can revive non Night Sisters. So, we'll do this. We'll, we'll try it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, taunting tech on Kylo Ren Unmasked. Weapons tech on Executioner. Um, let's give this to Kylo Ren Unmasked and have him stun Bastila. Oh. And immediately got cleansed. Okay, we'll get rid of the taunt here. And let's drive some turn meter. A lot of debuffs. A lot of debuffs. This would have been a good squad to take Padme in because she could have flipped all those debuffs. Stun. Uh, let's put this on Hux. Drive turn meter. Uh, let's go ahead and give this to Executioner. Worried about my time, actually. He keeps stunning Kylo Ren unmasked.
Get rid of the taunt. Oh, missed. I think I might just throw this on auto. sure that Executioner gets the kills. There we go. banners worked remarkably well was a little slow so putting it on auto there did speed things up a little bit all right in the back we've got exactly what I was expecting a Chewbacca team and a Rose Tico lead all right this Chewbacca squad actually could be kind of scary Chewie doesn't have a leadership but we've got Palpatine we've got Talzin so we've got some shocks and stuns. We've got Plague. We've got Hermit Yoda, who's going to be pumping people up. We've got Poe, who can taunt. We've got Chewie, who's going to be giving guard to someone and who will assist them. So let's go here. Let's take in our shock troopers. up that should prevent the plague and the stuns and we'll go right after Chewie what does this do dispel call an assist okay there we go No plaguey. Not gonna happen. No stuns. Tenacity from Tenacity up from Rex is brilliant. We're going to Rex execute. And 59 banners. Against Rose Tico. Jedi Training Ray, I guess? Or Treya? Or Night Sisters? Kind of think any of my options would work here. We'll go ahead and go with Jedi Training Ray and the Resistance Hero. All right, here we go. If it doesn't work, I've got plenty in reserve. Um, we'll wiggle. We'll put this 
I don't know where to put this. We'll put this over here. Um, let's go ahead and put the wave on Bastila. Let's get some inspired. Let's spread some inspired. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's heal up. Let's get rid of Basti. We'll put the wave here. Let's wave on Tarkin because he has an AoE. Now let's go after Ahsoka. if we can kill Tarkin here. I'd rather put the wave on Tarkin here. Now let's see if we can kill Tarkin. Alright, 59 banners there. Okay, against the fleets. I'm going to take a minute to look at his roster and see what his reinforcements are going to be. Okay, we're going to go here against the Malevolence with the Negotiator. Fleets are so unpredictable to begin with, but then when you throw in an auto set defense, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to clear these. We're going to go after their Anakin first. There we go. Go after Vader next. And 65 banners. It's amazing how much of a difference having the right ships with the right capital ship makes. Okay, and here we'll take home one. this works. Uh, let's go ahead and put the breach. Oh, that's resistance pilot. We'll put the breach over here on Bova. Wiggle.
Resistance Pilot actually might be the biggest threat here because he actually goes with the Radis. Uh, let's bring in Cassian. Oh, I thought I could get around the taunt. Darn it. All right. I think I'm going to lose bigs here. What does this do? Remove turn meter. Inflict turn it off. go. What does this do? Okay, we'll do that there. Wiggle. There we go. Phantom. We'll bring in this guy here. There we go, sixty five banners. All right, 2130 is my final. And I don't expect Zep to attack. He auto set defenses. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.